I'm going to start off by creating a get balance function so that we can see the existing budget value in Oracle. I'm going to use the get balance wizard to do this. By using the function arguments window, I can create a generic formula that I can paste throughout my template. I will link the relevant cells to my formula in order to extract the balance I want, setting the absolute and relative addressing as I go. Now that we have a generic get balance formula, we can copy and paste it to the other places in the workbook. We need to specify the input value or new budget value that we would like to load into Oracle. We enter these values into the relevant cells, and these cells can be anywhere on your workbook. We can see both the existing budget value and the new budget value on the template. Now let's create a load budget function so that we will be able to load desired values into Oracle. I'm going to use the convert get balance functionality in order to create the load budget functions. First, we specify a cell that contains a valid get balance function. Second, we specify the cell that contains the input value or new budget value. Finally, we specify the cell that contains the budget organization name. We can use Excel's function arguments window to set the absolute and relative addressing to make this formula generic. We can now copy and paste this formula to other cells within the workbook. Let's load that range using the validate and load range button on the toolbar. A calculation window appears telling us that the validation completed successfully. It also supplies us with some statistical information. The number of valid cells, the number of errors encountered, and the number of duplicates. And since we've encountered zero errors, I'm going to click the Upload button to continue the process. A confirmation box appears. This is your final chance to abort the process and prevent any budgets from being loaded and any concurrent requests from being submitted. When I click OK, I'm presented with the submitted concurrent requests information. In order to check on the concurrent requests, I click on the monitor button. A form opens up to display a number of concurrent requests I've submitted from BudgetWand. I can always click refresh to monitor the status of my concurrent request. Once the request is completed, I can view the output of the concurrent request by clicking on the View Output button. I do this to make sure that all budgets have been successfully loaded. Returning to the template, I can now refresh my existing Get Balance functions to confirm that the new budgets have been loaded. On recalculation, we can see that the existing balances have been updated with the new values. 